Hi, I'm Andrew Bailey, Curator of Collections here at the Pima Air and Space Museum. Behind us is our Douglas DC-10 Orbis Flying Eye Hospital. Today we're going to go through and take a look inside and I'm going to talk to you about how Orbis used this aircraft to go into developing countries to teach doctors how to do simple and complex eye surgeries for the local communities. All right, here we are inside the cockpit of the DC-10 Orbis Flying Eye Hospital. This DC-10 was the second DC-10 built by Douglas. It was used as a demonstration aircraft by Douglas for several years before being sold to Laker Airways in London. Um, after Laker Airways went defunct, it went back and forth between a couple other airlines before being bought by Orbis International in 1991. Orbis International has a goal of protecting eyesight and helping people with vision problems across the world, especially in developing countries. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we go through the aircraft and look at the uh, eye hospital parts. So here we are in the eye exam room. Here you'll see any kind of type of equipment that you would see anytime you would go to your own eye doctor. In this room, the patients would come in and have their eyes examined and they would make the decisions of what kind of eye surgery would be needed for them to have better eyesight. So here we are in the pre-op and post-op ward. Um, this is where the patients come in to prepare for surgery and where they recover afterwards. Many of the patients are children. So Orbis with one of their sponsors, Omega, came up with the Omega Orbis Teddy, which they would give to the kids before going into surgery. And when they would come out of surgery, the teddy bear would be there with an eye patch over the same eye that the ch child had the surgery on. Adjacent to the pre-op and post-op ward is the nurse's station. Here nurses would observe the patients during both pre-op and recovery. So after pre-op, you have the sterilization room here. And then over here is the surgical suite where all the eye surgeries are performed. In here they have all the equipment they would need to conduct different types of eye surgery, a lot of them being cataract surgeries. The patients would come in here, they would have all of the staff around here while they're doing the surgery. But if you notice, there are cameras here and here. So while they're conducting the surgery, it's all being recorded so that the doc local doctors who are up in the front of the airplane in the theater can watch and learn how to conduct the surgery. Orbis flies their flying eye hospitals in developing countries where they recruit local doctors to come aboard and learn routine eye surgeries. They would sit here in the theater and watch the surgeries being performed in the surgical suite. They would then take these newfound skills out into the community where they would combat blindness that otherwise would have gone untreated. In 2016, Orbis donated this aircraft to the Pima Air and Space Museum to educate the public on their mission. We have over 350 aircraft here at the Pima Air and Space Museum, and if you would like to help us preserve aviation history, please think about making a donation by visiting our website at pimaair.org. And please stay tuned for additional videos on humanitarian aircraft.